Well, speaking of killing that whole thing. Let's talk about Starship. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I did not have a segue, obviously. <laughs> so, um, of course, if you guys, I think the best thing you can do at this point in time, if you want to keep up with Starship and, and see the development, um, again, Mary with, with NASA Space Flight, she's Boca Chica Gal at NASA Space Flight, the, has been just doing the best job, and, and NASA Space Flight team has been doing such an awesome job of, of putting together constantly just updates a daily update of the builds because you have to in order to stay on top of the stuff now it's literally every day every single yeah. day you have to see what they're doing because it's it's unbelievable so now we're seeing a new test stand um and or stand but also serial number three is basically stacked complete um this is oh this this might actually be just a i don't remember i don't remember if we actually know what this is yet i, I didn't have time to figure this out but <laughs> this might be the new actual stand and not just mm. a, ten, a test stand um but see um do we know guys in discord but elon last night was out at boca chica and they completed stacking serial number three and it's going to be ready to actually uh probably go out to the by the time you're listening to this, there's a good chance it'll be making its way out to the, the, the stand to do pressure testing. You know, after it does pressure testing and, and goes through that, they'll likely do static fires. And then it's sounding like if this thing's going to survive all that, it will likely start doing some hops. So this could start happening within a week, two weeks. We might start seeing some hops again from Starship, which huh. makes me really sad that I'm going to have to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, yeah, if, so if you want your, your updates on this stuff as far as day-to-day, -day, because it's just hard. I can't even keep track of it anymore. That's, yeah. that's what I wanted to really talk about is, like, we're, we're to the point where, you know, last year Elon was saying at, at the Starship event, he's like, next year we're just going to be cranking these things out. Like, it's no big deal. And now they're literally building Starships, like, at this point once a month and just rapidly increasing that it's to the point where they're, they're probably gonna be rolling out a full-size starship in two weeks well go ahead joe well no i was i was wondering if if you i mean i'm sure you don't have any special knowledge on this or anything but like i wonder if they're gonna they, they've stacked this up okay so we had the star hopper that was a little squatty r2d2 thing mm -hmm. so now we've and then they created the mk1 which is like this is what it's gonna look like mm -hmm. if it was banged together with you know <laughs> pots and <laughs> pans and stuff yeah and then so so this has like the full stack going on mm -hmm. and i'm wondering if they're going to actually like finish it out and have an actual like starship looking thing when they do the hops or is it just going to be almost like a giant grasshopper kind of deal my understanding and some of the speculation is that, ser that f they're just going to do it iteratively so serial number three yeah. likely um will probably have landing legs or does have landing legs as we don't really know yet for sure um but it'll likely for sure be the one that starts doing engine fires and likely some hops, but it's still not clear whether or not it'll have any of the actual um, aero hardware on it. Not even sure if it'll have a nose cone on it, really, even though the nose right, cone's yeah. out. There's still a lot. At this point, they might just roll it out to the pad pretty much as is, press it up, do a static fire, and then maybe start hopping it. You know, because again, when you're hopping and doing these tests, like, they're pretty high risk. Why risk additional hardware when you don't need to? Sure. So. Sure. Um, the the hardware isn't necessary to do the until they're doing the higher altitude tests, you know. So um, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening really fast. Can't wait to where, see it. Where are they going to manufacture them, you know, kind of once they're done testing and they have like a, okay, this, this is the design we're going with? I think that's still... My understanding is Boca Chica will probably always be a Starship hub. For manufacturing and launching I think it's going to be long term but I think they're also planning to once they kind of know how to build them and what it takes you know uh, Boca Chica is such a playground for them there's lots of room it's literally they're building a factory around the rocket and once they kind of have a good system set in place kind of like how they built Giga Factory and yeah. as like an open playground type of thing too once you kind of know the the system and, and Elon talks about that all the time like the machine that builds the machine and how manufacturing yeah. is a thousand times harder than the prototyping so he's doing his thing where instead of he's doing it out in an open field where they can do it however it makes sense to try to do it and solve that problem. Once they have that problem figured out, boop, you can pop it down because there's still, you know, we're assuming they're going to be building these on site in Florida too someday. Um, but those Got are the... It, but they won't be building it in Hawthorne. Not in Hawthorne, but they do, they did renew their lease 
for Starship production at Port of Los Angeles, though, a little bit mm. ago, like a month or two ago. They renewed their lease there, so maybe they'll have multiple factories, you know, and if Starship really is... And here's the thing. You have to listen to Elon and Gwen when they say they're going to be building Starship faster, cheaper, and more frequently than they ever did Falcon 9. Believe it. Because... Realistically, the materials they're using, the raw materials, is actually, yes, there's more of it, but not that much. Like, you remember that the volume goes up by the cube of, uh, of the actual, like, surface area square. So, yeah, the rocket's huge, but the actual amount of metal isn't, like, you know, it doesn't scale up to Falcon 9, right? So, if you, does that make sense? So, yes, it's a much, much, it's- much bigger vehicle, but it's not substantially more you know not that same amount more volume (laughs) difference compared to the actual material does that make sense um but and also stainless steel is really cheap even compared to the aluminum alloys they're using so yeah uh i mean we're just gonna start seeing once and they're just gonna solve the problem once they know how to fly the thing they're just gonna be where is raptor made then like like what is hawthorne for i guess raptor we will still be made in hawthorne and my guess is that'll always be the case is that um, things like, you know, for now, Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, Merlin, Raptor will all be produced in Hawthorne. Um, anything that can be easily shipped on the road, like the engines, sure. Keep doing it out of Hawthorne. You know, continually keep, you know, keep Hawthorne open for all those other things. But um, they're just cranking them out right now. And they're working on ramping that up, I believe. You know, we're starting to see into the 20s mm-hmm. for their serial numbers for Raptors. So, um, And then the capsules are made there too, right? Um, yep, for now, you know, Dragon, well, Dragon will, again, yeah, will always be made in Hawthorne. Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy will always be made in Hawthorne. Merlin, always in Hawthorne. But yeah, my yeah, guess yeah. would be, you know, if they're really getting to the point where they're doing this stuff at the pace of, like, Boeing, you know, making airplanes, if that's their goal is to make as many as there are airplanes and things like that, yeah, you're going to need a couple of these factories. You're going to need three. Yeah, yeah, and it'll need to be kind of uh, mechanized more than this kind of bespoke nature they're doing it right now right? yep yeah it's still prototyping right now absolutely hardcore prototyping yeah. and like fast rapid the type of stuff that i just absolutely love to see yeah i'll tell you yeah. guys more about my video my upcoming video that i'm working on right now um but we'll talk about that at the end so <laughs> yeah really really exciting to see this stuff come together and it, just t- trying to stay on top of it is literally i mean there's multiple youtube channels but that's basically all they do anymore is just stay on top of starship because it is that big of, and props to them i mean you got marcus house and yeah. um you know there's so I, i'm gonna blank felix, on like what about it yeah exactly felix you know um there's so many people that do an awesome job of, of the weekly updates or bi-weekly and or you know stuff like that like awesome awesome job to, to those channels too because that is a grind on its own trying to stay on top of all the stuff <laughs> and of course nasa space flight has just been um, absolutely killing it. Yeah. Jack's editing and awesome. Mary putting it out every week. It's awesome. Every day. Is NASA space flight NASA? No. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've wondered if they've wanted to rebrand at some point because now we're getting to the point where it won't be NASA's. You know, a lot of the stuff they cover has nothing to do yeah. with NASA directly, you know, like Starship developing. So you can just use the name? Of course. So I'm like, NASA uh call autos automaker i'm gonna start a new company <laughs> i mean i don't <laughs> spaceships I for earth wait i thought that was a tesla thing <laughs> <laughs> oh so yeah it's a toothpaste so why don't they just make like a you know uh change your name to spaceflight.com hey thanks for checking us out guys i hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure and subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join the cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.